Einen wunderschönen guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren, und herzlich willkommen zu Tales of Hesperia. Part 15, glaube ich schon. Meine Güte. Ja, wir befinden uns immer noch auf dem Mount Themsa und wollen Judith zur Rede stellen. Warum sie macht, was sie macht und warum sie abgehauen ist und so. How my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? No, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. Okay, so, ich glaube, wir haben nur einen einzigen Weg. Und der führt hier nach rechts. Da hinten hatten wir ja nur runter gucken können einmal. Und es kommt wohl jetzt gleich ein Bosskampf auf uns zu. Oh. Ah, vorher aber noch mehr Gegner. Ja, dann rechne ich mal ganz stark damit, dass wir... Ähm dass wir vorher noch einen äh, Heilsprecherpunkt finden werden. Oh, ein neues Ball gelernt. Sehr schön. Was haben wir denn da? Können Pein. Das äh, sah tatsächlich nach einem ziemlich starken Spell aus. Die Sounds, Alter. That's quite funny. <lacht> Na, gibt's da unten vielleicht was versteckt? Ja. Oh. Ich wollte ihn noch anschießen. Klappt besser, wenn sie mit dem Rücken zu uns stehen. Transformbogen. Oh ja. Uiuiui, der ist ja deutlich stärker. Nicht schlecht. Ähm ja, wir sind immer noch am Fertigkeiten durchlernen. Ne? Ja, ah, so knapp davor. Jetzt schaffe ich es ja noch, aber glaube ich eigentlich nicht. Sieht es da aus? Naja, er ist auch kurz davor, den Dreher zu lernen. Danach kann er dann... Das hier, ja genau, das ist stärker. Mhm. Ja, sie braucht noch. Die anderen, ja, gut. Meine Orangengummis sind gleich weg. Alle. That sucks. So. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. <lacht> Okay. Sehr schön. Dann kann Repeat ja schon mal seine neue Waffe kriegen. Das hier. Was ist denn Dreher? Ermöglicht auch beim Sprinten sich sofort umzudrehen. Okay. Klingt jetzt nicht allzu besonders. Ah, ein neues Schwert für Flynn. Sieh an, sieh an. Wird auch langsam mal Zeit. Naja, wobei, so lange haben wir diese Waffe jetzt auch noch nicht. Ja. Namik, Sturmböe. Hm. Steigert sogar unsere Verteidigung. Und unsere Beweglichkeit auch um 28, meine Güte. Ist ein, ist ein ziemliches Upgrade auf jeden Fall. Deswegen lohnt es sich, Kisten aufzumachen. Ich wünschte nur, ich hätte mehr Orangengummis. Ist hier kann, können wir dann auch noch später nochmal wieder hin. Da liegt nämlich auch wieder eine Truhe da hinten. Ach, ich hasse das, wenn das Spiel dir Bereiche zeigt und sagt, da kommst du jetzt aber noch nicht hin. Das geht doch nicht. Das wird doch nicht. Ja, äh, meine Überlimitleiste spare ich mir wie immer. Uh. Die gibt's für den Bosskampf gleich. Was Neues erlernt. Ging aber schnell. Hab 
was wir gelernt haben. Was hat er genaues gelernt? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Das hier vielleicht? Vielleicht auch das? Don't know. Oh, mehrere Wege. Da oben ist übrigens der... Ich hasse es. Da oben ist der Heilspeicherpunkt. Tribalanze. Haben wir schon mal welche gefunden von. Ihr müsst euch besser koordinieren, wer wann angreift. Und wer wen angreift. Mages Power. Damn. Das war fein. Dead. Okay. Auch Estelle hat durchgelernt. Wir können Waffe wechseln. Muss ich gleich mal gucken, was das überhaupt, was wir da überhaupt genau gelernt haben. Äh, Achso, warte mal. Fertigkeiten, nicht Arzt. Ich verwechsel das gerne mal. Schmelztiegel ändert eine Art. Ja. Why not? Was ist das? Ändert auch eine Art. Hm. Bin ich fast versucht, äh, das mal zu nehmen. Mal zu gucken, was dann. Was dann kommt. So, das ist natürlich jetzt blöd. Da hinten wäre ein Save Point, ähm, der uns komplett auffüllt. Ach, natürlich ist das eine Mimik. Ja, jetzt werden sie nämlich die anderen das Dinger verbrauchen. Kill it. Bestimmt auch nicht Kohle wieder. Okay. Wow. Bei eben 30.000 Geld von so einer scheiß Kiste gekriegt. Ja, kann man auch mal machen. Ne? Geostein und Klebmehl. Da ist noch eine Truhe. Ah, da komme ich auch wieder nicht dran, weil da scheiß Felsen sind. Ja. Naja, kann ich nicht ändern. Äh. Ich nehme lieber diese, weil Mischgummis eben auch noch HP heilen. Da opfer ich lieber dann drei Ananasgummis, dass sie die nicht gleich verbraten. Okay. Genug angeschossen. Er ist doch scheißegal hier. So, ich habe zwar jetzt nicht gesehen, was sie da gezaubert hat, aber scheint auf jeden Fall geklappt zu haben. Roter Lavendel erhöht physischen Angriff um 3. Hi, Speicherpunkt, yay. Ja, wie gesagt, ich mache gleich einfach Overlimit wieder und dann geht's rund, würde ich sagen. Hoffe ich zumindest, dass es das so leicht ist, wie ich es mir vorstelle. Wenn nicht, muss ich hier halt noch ein bisschen farmen. Aber das wäre ja auch kein Problem. Was hast du da gerade gezaubert? Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ehrlich gesagt. Vielleicht das hier. Ich will eigentlich nicht, dass sie ähm, so angreift. Das ist noch in Ordnung, weil das ist ja auch wieder ein Fernkampfangriff, mehr oder weniger. Sonst will ich sie eigentlich nur, dass sie... Ähm, ja, das könnte ich auch alles aktivieren, aber dann, dann, ver, ver, dann kümmert sie sich nicht mehr so gut ums Heilen. 
Deswegen äh, lasse ich das, glaube ich, einfach alles so, wie es jetzt aktuell ist. Und wir gucken, ob wir den Bosskampf schaffen. Jetzt haben wir natürlich richtig Kohle durch die Kiste gekriegt. 30.000. Das ist schon krass. Aber wer weiß, wie teuer die Sachen noch werden. Und hier haben wir auch schon den Bosskampf. So, Stimmt. Wir sind dass Ort war, der Grund war, dass der Große Krieg war. Ja, wir haben hier von dem alten Mann gehört. Der Große Krieg wurde durch eine Art von Blastia gespielt. Was? What? Und deswegen mag sie keine Blastia, weil sie nicht nochmal einen großen Krieg haben will. Und zack, haben wir eine Be sinnvolle Begründung, warum... Das war nicht eine Blastia, die von Blastia wurde. Es wurde konstruiert in der Stadt von Temza, mit einer neuen Art von Technologie. Was noch viel heftiger war wahrscheinlich. Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia, okay. Hermes Blastia? Ich habe nie gehört von ihr. Und wenn du sagst, es wurde neu gebaut. Ich dachte nicht, dass du eine neue Blastia machen könntest. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crina began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet. Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Entelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans. And they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Entelakea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelakea. Prob Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. New Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelakea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? Found our mark. You will not pass. You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Wie sie dieses riesige Ding so ganz locker hält. Ich, ich finde das so witzig. Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. Let's finish them. We were having a conversation over here. But out. I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone! Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person! Carol! Have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside! Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelakea aren't evil! They were fighting to save the world! Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice. Na, ah, try it. Judith hat sich der Gruppe angeschaut. Judith ist nicht in deiner Gruppe. Bilde, bitte bilde eine Gruppe mit Judith als Mitglied. Ja, dann, äh, Moment, habe ich für Judith eine neue Waffe gekriegt? Natürlich nett. Wobei, da würden wir eine ganze Menge Erfahrung wahrscheinlich kriegen für das Lernen von diesen Sachen. Äh. Ja, die Triballanzen, davon, wovon ich einfach sechs Stück habe. Die ist tatsächlich sogar stärker. 
Wenn auch nicht besonders viel. Äh, ich glaube, die anderen Fertigkeiten sind sinnvoller zu lernen. Combo Plus, Superkette 4, Überlimit Boost, ich weiß nicht. Klingt für mich irgendwie sinnvoller, dass wir das äh, lernen. Da haben wir auch nichts Besseres, leider. Ja. Okay. You're back in it, Judith. Don't fuck up now. Es wurde sogar ein bisschen gelevelt. Ist ja auch klar. Äh, okay. Mein, ähm, mein Vorgehen wird jetzt sein, direkt Überlimit zu aktivieren. Stufe 3, also sprich Steuerkreuz nach oben drücken. Und hoffen, dass Rita richtig schön devastated mit ihren Zaubern in der kurzen Zeit, die wir dann halt haben. Ja. Okay. All monsters should be killed. That's the rule of the hunting blade. Do it. Fuck sie richtig ab mit Zaubern. I will protect my oh, richtig doll. Even if it costs me my life. It's pretty stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is Oh ja, oh ja, da kommt eine Menge Schaden zusammen. Oh ja, da kommt eine Menge Schaden. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your excuse? Shut up. We hunting blades will not back down. Das war jede Menge Schaden. Sehr konnten sie nicht mal irgendwas dagegen machen. Okay. Oh oh, mystisches Arsch. Oh boy. Ich wünschte, ich könnte das machen. Au, oh, that sucked. Zauber, zauber, zauber. Los, die Zeit läuft weg. One down. Damn, ich hab meine Chance verpasst. Die haut dann schon rein, die Olle. Und sie ist down. Were you going easy on them? Und sie ist down. Who lays a hand on my ja, nice. Das ging doch relativ entspannt. Spezialflagge, warum krieg ich die nochmal? Hab ich doch schon. Bestimmt. Schutzring, Widerstandsring. That went surprisingly well. Nan, I'm sorry. So, jetzt kann ich einfach wieder zurück zum Heilspeicherpunkt gehen. Very nice. Ja, gut. Dann bleibt die Judith jetzt erstmal in der Party wieder. Äh, ich habe so das Gefühl, sie ist gerade gegen Fluggegner auch besser als Repeat. Wobei die beiden sich wahrscheinlich nicht viel nehmen. Dann haben wir ordentlich gerackt mal wieder hier alles. Okay. Und Yuri, ich weiß nicht, ich hab den gerne in der Party. Der, der, macht, der macht seine Sachen ganz gut. Prepare to meet your doom. Destruction field! You sharpened rage. Run through that which clocks our future. Disturbing power now unleashed. Meet the judgment. Are you done already? Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Okay, Grace, of innocent waters. Obsidian flash. He has a raging spear to run the enemy's through. Easy going hier. Immer blau. Sehr schön. Endlich mal wieder eine neue Waffe für Reader. Ja. Ah. Leichter Zauber. Und nochmal Überlimit-Bonus. Achso, nee, Überlimit-Bonus. Das andere war, glaube ich, was anderes. Let's see. Wir haben nämlich... Überlimit-Boost erhöht die Dauer. Stellt ab und zu während eines Überlimits die KP vollständig wieder her. Oh, das klingt auch recht nützlich, tatsächlich. So, ich hoffe, hier oben ist nur noch eine Kiste. Äh, nicht, dass es hier actually weitergeht. Ich glaube, eher unten. Ja. 
Juri steht nur gelangweilt in der Gegend rum. Okay. Ist aber kein Problem. Ich krieg ganz schön viele Tribal-Lanzen. Okay, hat nicht funktioniert. Merkwürdigerweise. Da sind schon wieder die Gummis weg, alle. Yeah. Ausweichen 2. Federmantel. Okay, dann haben wir direkt für Judith ein neues. Oh, trägt sie bereits. Ups. Na gut, dann kriegt Patty ein. Ist besser. Deutlich besser. Ja, mit der kämpfe ich demnächst auch noch mehr, weil ich finde das witzig, wie, wie flink sie ihre Attacken raushaut und die Gegner ständig umwirft oder so. Also. Ist eine gute Wildcard. Könnte man zum Beispiel ins Team nehmen, äh, wenn jetzt Estelle zum Beispiel nicht im Team wäre. Ich meine dann, weil sie halt ja auch ein bisschen, zwar jetzt nicht wahnsinnig viel, kann aber besser die Gegner angreifen. Das heißt also, wenn ich farme, um einfach nur Kohle zu machen oder Level, äh, dann ist sie eventuell sogar effektiver als Estelle. Estelle hat halt den, den Engelsring-Zauber, der wirklich gut ist gegen mehrere Gegner. Das ist halt... Ich glaube nicht, dass Patty da irgendwie rankommen kann, aber ich muss das dann selber mal ein bisschen sehen, dass ich, keine Ahnung, dass ich von fünf Kämpfen äh, mit dem einen Team die durchschnittliche Zeit ausrechne, wie lange es dauert und dann nochmal, wenn ich den Charakter austausche. Weil dann könnte man es genau sehen, ob es wirklich effektiver ist oder eben nicht. Weil es geht ja nur mal darum, umso schneller man die Gegner platt macht, umso besser ist es eigentlich, ne? Klar. Was los? Und, und ist der so, warte, ich halte ihn. Nein! <lacht> it looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No! Don't you touch him. I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Richtig, deswegen verpiss dich. <lacht> warte, ich muss mal mit Dampf nachladen. Immer das Dampf nachladen. Ich gehe doch die wertvolle Spielzeit verloren. Healing wounds is in your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. Das wird jetzt unser Flugmount, ich sag's euch. Well now. Amazing. I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us. Of course we'd help. Right. Yep. Got kind of huge. Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey after all. Ist er immer noch in der Wüste da rumchillen irgendwo? Sure. What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. Nope, we're fleeing off the feet. Wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. Sieht aus wie ein fetter Wal mit Flügeln. Also, merkwürdige Flügel. Kru so Krüppelflügel, aber naja. Scheint zu reichen. <lacht> Tja. 
Judy. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack, either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. Ja, ich werde nachher auch äh, einen kleinen Mittagsschlaf machen. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but she sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. So, jetzt müssen wir wieder über jedem reden. Wie immer. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws, but... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do, even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. Not a very minute ago. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. Hmm. There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before, Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with him. If that person was still using the Blastia even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Das kann ja nur der komische Typ mit seinem Schwert sein, was ich schon die ganze Zeit sage, dass das der Oberbösewicht ist. Oh man, don't tell me you. Der Duke oder wie er heißt. Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a. When are you gonna learn some respect for your elders? Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah, even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something, even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? 
I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. Is that the core from the Saras Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <gasps> what the? Nothing. Uh... If only things weren't so complicated, I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance, and our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechea. So the Entelechea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechea have regulated the air. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul. To whom I owe my life. The path you walk. Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an Apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Epithea are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Epithea, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliard. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. <coughs> I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. You what?! Wait! Rita! Settle down. 
Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. Hey! There's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself, and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces, so you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... that's all there is to it? Every Intelikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. Oh, which one? Drück den linken Stick. Unten. Baul auf der Weltkarte suchen. Ja. Ist eigentlich genau so ähnlich wie die Schiffssteuerung, würde ich sagen. Jetzt sind wir ganz oben. Das aussieht. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intelikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. Jetzt frage ich mich natürlich, ob wir irgendwo äh, halt hin könnten auf der Weltkarte, wo wir sonst nicht hin könnten mit dem Viech hier. Ähm, und dann im Prinzip, äh, ja, leveln irgendwo können, weißt du? Aber, aber ich weiß halt nicht. Äh, äh, hinunterklettern. Also so wahnsinnig riesig ist die Weltkarte nämlich nicht. Beispiel hier, was ist das für ein Kontinent? Könnte ja alles Mögliche äh, sein. Hier ist zum Beispiel ähm, Crafting-Materialien und wahrscheinlich viel zu starke Monster. Definitiv sind hier starke Monster. Ich glaube, das sind die, bei denen ich gelevelt hatte. Ähm, wo die noch ziemlich stark waren, aber die müssten jetzt eigentlich relativ schwach sein. 
Mm, maybe. Right, Repeat? <laughs> Yuri, you want to talk to Repeat? I think the two of you understand each other well enough already. I got him pretty well figured out, but I don't know if he understands me. I think he feels the same way. That's safe. Ich glaube, das sind dieselben Gegner, die recht stark sind. Ich glaube ja. Aber gut, jetzt bin ich auch schon viel höher vom Level. Ich hatte ja mit Level 20 oder so gegen die, glaube ich, gekämpft. Let's try. We'll destroy them in no time. <lacht> Ready? Look how good. Ihr seht, wie viel die aussagen. Ne? Wie viel Schaden die machen. Die halten mehr aus als die letzten. Also als die, wo ich gelevelt habe. Die sind definitiv noch stärker. Auch wenn sie genau gleich aussehen. Auch ewig bis die fallen. Ich kann sogar versteinern. Ich meine. Ja, definitiv. Ich meine, das hat mal eben 2000 Erfahrung gegeben. Und äh, 5600 Galt. Die sind definitiv stärker. Droppen aber dieselben Sachen, die sie auch beim ersten Mal gedroppt haben. Aber das ist gut, weil dann kann ich nämlich jetzt ein ganz bisschen äh, leveln, nachdem wir uns... Äh, äh, ich wollte eigentlich noch ganz unten. Und sogar ein richtiges Zelt. Ähm, hören wir uns gleich noch die Labara Barbara an und dann äh, kann ich ein bisschen leveln. Weil ich habe so das Gefühl, das wäre vielleicht ganz sinnvoll. Und die Stimmen sind wieder leise. Okay, dann level ich. Bis gleich. Oh, diese Dinger sind gefährlich. <lacht> Sehr gefährlich. Eieiei. So, ich bin jetzt hier gerade beim Leveln auf so ein kleines Haus oder so im Wald gestoßen. Ich weiß jetzt gar nicht, ob ich da reingehen kann. Nee, ich kann es gar nicht betreten. Ah, schade. Dammit, ich dachte, ich kann euch was Schönes zeigen, aber no, ich kann natürlich wieder nicht rein, weil die Story das noch nicht will. Okay, back to level. <lacht> So, wir sind am Ziel angekommen. Hab ich leider nicht mehr gespeichert vorher. Hm. Äh, <lacht> ich mal, dass ich noch die Chance dazu kriege. So, this is where Pharaoh is? Äh, ich habe nämlich ein bisschen zu viel Zeit damit verschwendet, mit dem komischen Wal oder was ist das, rumzufliegen. Und zu leveln und ähm, so ein paar neue Gegnertypen zu besiegen. Und jetzt habe ich gerade noch ein paar von oh, diesen Lootspots abgegrast. Und ich könnte jetzt auch eine ganze Menge synthetisieren. Ich glaube, ein bisschen was habe ich auch synthetisiert. Zwar noch nicht so ganz so viel, aber... Ich habe zumindest meine Vorräte aufgefüllt. Carol, okay? No, I'm not okay. I should go. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him, even though you could be killed? Yes, 
I've already made peace with this decision. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Do you have a problem with meeting Pharaoh? I just think it'll be hard on her to hear what he has to say. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. Okay, so, ähm. Uh, ja, immer blau. Ich hätte hier ein neues Buch craften können. Für sie. Aber ich ähm, jetzt mal nicht gemacht. Ja, sonst habe ich eigentlich nicht viel andere Sachen gefunden, oder? Großzepter. Ja. Für sie könnte man auch einen neuen Schild craften, theoretisch. Ich denke, das wäre für sie wirklich ganz gut, wenn wir jetzt gerade nicht äh, farmen. Dass die Mage geheilt wird, ist doch, macht doch eigentlich Sinn, oder? Ja. Für ihn können wir auch hier eine neue Zweitwaffe craften. Für sie können wir eine neue Zweitwaffe craften. Für sie können wir eine neue Zweitwaffe craften. Für ihn sowieso. Für ähm, Repeat, glaube ich, als einziges nicht. Da tragen wir schon das Beste. Ja. Ist hier ein Speicherpunkt irgendwo? Weil ich kann mir eigentlich nicht vorstellen, dass das Spiel hier keinen Speicherpunkt dahin geben würde, wenn es jetzt wirklich gleich gefährlich werden würde. Und wenn doch, tja, dann habe ich halt Pech gehabt. Ihr seht auf jeden Fall, ich habe jetzt nur zwei Level gelevelt und habe jetzt 300.000 Geld. Das soll erstmal reichen. Ja, mir rennt so ein bisschen die Zeit davon. Wir haben es nämlich jetzt gleich halb vier. Und ich muss noch einen Mittagsschlaf machen vorm Abendessen. Tch. Dass ich äh, nachher noch eine Folge aufnehmen kann. Deswegen wird das heute eine kurze Folge. Wie ihr wahrscheinlich schon an der Wiedergabedauer sehen könnt jetzt gerade. Pharaoh, Da chillt er. Insipid Poison, you appear before me at last. So you are here. Is that how you greet all your guests, Pharaoh? By calling them names? For what reason have you come to me? Surely you are aware that I could end your existence with a mere thought. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? Well, if you really want to fight, I'd hate to disappoint you. Yuri, no! Everyone, please wait! Estelle! Pharaoh, please hear what I have to say. Does death hold no fear for you, little one? For you gaze now into the mouth of death itself. I am afraid, but I'm even more afraid of dying without knowing who I really am. No. Bellius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. I have to know just what that destiny is. I understand that I am a threat to the Entelikea, but you said that I am a poison to this world. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my existence cannot be tolerated, then it's okay if I have to die. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me. I beg of you. There was a time when this was a verdant land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crene. So there was an air crene here. But what happened? Why did it change? What you see are the results of too much air and its aftermath. As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the child of the full moon. Huh? The power of the child of the full moon stimulates the air crene more than any Blastia. Huh? Blastia convert air into energy by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia, she must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this special formula Estelle has must also consume massive amounts of air, which causes the air crene to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then... I... 
It is as she has said. With each use of her power, the child of the full moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just wipe it out then? Little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. To do nothing would be unparalleled folly. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let anyone else handle it. The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? It would at least eliminate one problem. Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. And again at Dawngrest I stopped you. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I realized it, I had lost my way. I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, I granted you the time necessary to see things as they are. As a result, my sister Belius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm, not sure I understand all this, but if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. Someday she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she keeps that spirit of compassion, she cannot only be seen as harmful. She is not like Ablastia. I know that you can feel the difference. Compassion alone will not save this world. Listen, Pharaoh. I get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind, but why doesn't that world have a place for Estelle? It is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole. I don't buy that for a second. What makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence for far greater a span than you can conceive. Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. Pharaoh, please, listen. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. Judith! And if... If the effects of Estelle's power reach their absolute limit, I will kill her as promised. You should have no complaint with this. Hey, Judith, are you serious? I'm sure brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I... um... Yeah, yeah, of course we will! Well, score one for Judith, so that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us to make things right. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. You have changed. If you were still as before... Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever mindful, though, that time is fleeting. Wait! If the formulas are causing the excessive air, then there must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were a product of an ancient civilization. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any yet can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. He's gone! Bye-bye! Um, I... Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith, you too. No problem. But hey... What? It's okay if I have to die? What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. Man, I was really worried there for a while. We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Geez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel.
If he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. You might be right. I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. But what are we gonna do, Yuri? You heard what he said. We're going to fix the problems the air's causing, and that's all. That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. Mm-hmm. And no one wants to be at square one. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we had that kind of information, it might give us a clue. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the past about the days of old. Or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. It is far older than Temza, and the birthplace of the Kritya. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well, what do you know? You wouldn't happen to know where this Miorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. I've heard that name somewhere. There was a Kritian in Ospio. I'm sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. Okay, nach Ospio. Wo war das noch gleich? <lacht> Money seems to disappear before you know it. No, it disappears because you use it. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more. Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really? How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it! <laughs> What a lovely little fairy tale. Okay, ähm, um, ja. Nach Aspio, das machen wir jetzt noch eben. Äh, lass mich mal eben schauen. Äh, Aspio, da oben. Okay. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Nope. Ja, ich hatte, ihr seht ja da auf der Weltkarte unten rechts diese Felsen sozusagen. Da waren ziemlich starke Monster. Ungefähr so stark wie die anderen, gegen wie die wir schon mal gekämpft hatten. Da und da gab es eben auch viele Lootstellen zum, naja, Loot abrasen. Pharaohs Worte, das. Können wir uns noch anhören vorher, würde ich sagen. Aspio war da hinten. In dem Felsen. Naja, da ist Aspio. Okay. Vorher loot ich das Ding da. All that stuff about the balance of the world is pretty hard to take in. Yeah, I hadn't even been outside the capital until just a while ago myself. And now we're here talking about the fate of the world. You never know what life will bring you. But isn't that what makes it interesting? I don't think we can afford to be that relaxed anymore. Estelle doesn't have much time left. What's the harm? It's not as if acting all serious is going to solve anything. Besides, Estelle will notice if we look all worried. Well, maybe so, but... We won't forget what Pharaoh said. Relax. I know, it's just... Estelle's got it the worst. If we get too down about this, we won't be much help to her. Jumpen wir mal eben hier über den Dingsens. Oh, da hinten ist auch noch ein Dingsens zum Looten. 
Das macht Spaß jetzt mit dem Ding rumzufliegen und diese ganzen Sachen abgrasen zu können. Weil da kriegt man halt zum Teil halt, das da könnte ein Kampf fahren sein. Ähm, kriegt man halt zum Teil die Sachen, die man... Nun ja, oh, die schmelzen ja gerade zu die Monster. Gehbasis, Gehbasis ist auch immer eigentlich ganz gut. Keiner Pelz. Okay, er hat jetzt nicht das gedroppt, was ich dachte, also war es wahrscheinlich kein Kampf fahren, aber okay. Egal, egal. Ähm, machen wir jetzt erstmal Aspio. Danach ist Schluss, leider schon. Weil, äh, wie gesagt, mein Zeitplan heute etwas knapp ist, aber dafür nehme ich heute Abend äh, für euch dann nächste Woche im Prinzip eine vielleicht etwas längere Folge noch auf. Ja. But why? I second that. How long's it been since I've slept in a proper bed? Well, I suppose we can all stay at my place. Wait, there's something I want to take care of first. You mean me? Carol? This is a guild thing. Best for us not to get involved. I've thought about it a lot. What we should do, like, as a guild. And I realized, we have to figure out a few things if we're gonna keep this guild going. It sounds like you've decided what we should do. Well, we said it before. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws suffer strict punishment, even if they're friends or family. They say that's the source of a guild's pride. Yes. So what I'm thinking is... We all have to receive punishment. What do you mean? I didn't know that Judith was fighting for our planet all on her own. But even though I didn't know, I still failed to help a fellow guild member. So I gotta accept my punishment. Yuri? Me? Maybe you were trying to follow your own path, but you still kept things hidden from us. There's no way that can be for the good of the guild. Well... So you gotta be punished too. Now he's stretching it. The laws are important. What if someone does the right thing, but still breaks the law? Should they be punished? To be honest, I just don't know yet. So that's why we should all just accept our punishment and start over from scratch. What do you think? I can't promise I won't have my secrets in the future. Well, if that's the way it is, if you can't trust us, then there's nothing you can do. That would be my fault. And what if I destroy a Blastia that our guild was planning on using again? That would be breaking the law that says I should act in the interest of the guild. But you'd also be acting for the sake of the world. Guilds aren't there just so people can obey their laws. I think we can let that slide. Um, doesn't that sort of make your laws meaningless? <laughs> I've never heard of a guild like this before. But you've got me interested, I'll give you that much. There's no need to be such a stickler for the rules. Gotta be more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you're just full of surprises. I thought plenty about myself and what I should be doing, but I might not have considered how my actions would affect you guys. This is a way of settling things I didn't even realize existed. I... I just wanted to keep traveling with all of you. I just wanted each of our own paths to be the same as Brave Asperia's. <laughs> Sounds all right with me. You heard the man, Judy. I guess that's where we stand. You really are some of the oddest people I've ever met. But I suppose I can manage to put up with you. All right, then. One more time. Brave Vesperia, fall out! They're just making it up as they go, aren't they? Is that all a guild is? <laughs> the Don ran his guild just a teensy bit differently. There's something beautiful about this way, though. Brave Vesperia sure is nice. Do you want to join too, Patty? Can't right now. Oh, yeah. You still have to get your memory back. So, what about the punishment? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Um... Looks like you guys are on Critian Researcher Detail. We'll be relaxing at my place. Hey, why do you get to decide? Excuse me? Did I hear a complaint? <laughs> no, ma'am. No. Uh-uh. Carol, were you thinking by yourself this whole time about what to do with Judy? Yeah, it was pretty much all I thought about after we left Nordopolica. That... 
And about what you did to Rago and Kumor. Really? It's nice to hear you thought about me that much, even when I wasn't around. Yeah. I wasn't sure at first what was right, what was wrong. I think I have the Dawn to thank for setting me straight. Without the Dawn's last words, I never would have found answers to the questions I had. You gotta stand on your own two feet. Yeah. I was thinking about what that meant. And before I knew it, I wasn't thinking about what was right. I was thinking about what I want to do. And that helped you decide what to do with the guild. Yeah. So here's to fresh starts. Yeah. To fresh starts. Okay. Also wenn, dann würde ich mal tippen, dass diese Person... You're searching for Mjorzo? That's the name of the city that they talk about in the Critian legends. That's all I know. Location? I don't know where it is. And even if I knew, I don't think it will be of any good to tell it to someone other than a Critian. <laughs> that wasn't bad, Carol. I have to say, I really didn't expect to hear that again. Stimmen sind wir wieder leise. Think of it. Judy doesn't ask about that at all. Oh, should I? Would it be a problem? Well, even if you don't ask, the answer is still clear to you. I'm not sure about that. Even so, you're still you and I'm still me. If our paths are the same, I'll travel with you. If I didn't think they were, I wouldn't be here. So everything is clear to you, see? I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking is clear to you as well. Is it something like people who choose the same path think alike? You're searching for it's the name of this location, and even if I. Ja, also. Das, er weiß es nicht. Wie gesagt. Naja. Schlüsselloch ist eigenartig geformt. Kommen wir also auch später noch rein. Hm. Weird. Aber hier gab es da noch einen anderen Raum. Eine Bibliothek oder sowas. Hello. nichts, was ich brauche. Schlafen wir in einem Bücherregal. Why not? Tja. Was hat er gesagt? Südhagen des Hügels haben wir wunschen mal geöffnet zwischen der Hauptstadt und Ospio hin und her reisen. Irgendwas haben sie aufgemacht, ich weiß noch nicht wo. Wir haben auch Flint schon ziemlich lange nicht mehr gesehen. Gut, dann gehe ich jetzt mal zu Reader, denn, äh, naja, weiß so erstmal nicht weiter, wie es weitergeht, weiter. Außerdem wollte ich ja eh demnächst die Folge beenden. Soll ich denn suchen, Mädel? Gucken wir mal im Internet, was da steht, was, mit wem man sprechen muss. Ja, im Prinzip hat der Typ uns schon die Lösung des Ganzen genannt. Ähm, 
Ich weiß nur nicht ganz, wie man das mit der Flagge macht. Wie macht man das mit der Flagge? Menü-Gruppenführer zu wechseln. Im Menü, ja. Hm, wie? Anführer wechseln. Ah, so. Siehst du, jetzt rennen wir nämlich mit Judith durch die Gegend. Okay. Und da müssen wir mit dem äh, Critty entsprechen. Eigentlich äh, ziemlich simpel. Ah, oh, wie schön sie hin und her bubeln, wachsen. Bubel, 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 bubel. Bubel, bubel. Hallo. Good day. Good day, my sister. Judith. I'm Tort. You wouldn't Tort. happen to know anything about Miorzo, would you? I'd like to go there. I need to know where Miorzo is located and how I can get there. Even if you reach the city, there won't be anything for you to see there. But what do you plan on doing there anyway? Is not a Critian's interest in her own ancestral city reason enough to go? That is an acceptable reason. But I'm afraid I don't know anything about where it could be. I've heard your name before, Tort. You help guide those Critians remaining on Earth up to the heavens. Will you not tell me because these humans are with me? Our ancient law states that we cannot show anyone but our brothers and sisters the way to Miorzo. Shouldn't it be a matter of whether they can be trusted rather than whether they're Critian or not? At the very least, these humans can be trusted. I shall ask once more. Why do you seek Miorzo? The world is headed toward some bad things, all thanks to Blastia. We want to go to know what happened in the past and how we can stop it. We want to help everyone, not just the Critians. How's that? Very well. I do not know if you'll find the answers to your questions, but I will show you the way. First of all, you'll need a special bell to open the path to Miorzo. A bell? Indeed. It is hidden in one of the southern caverns on the continent of Hippionia. But isn't Hippionia really big? The cavern is on a shore where red flowers bloom. If you use that as your guide, I'm sure you shall find it. Also, the door in the back of that cavern can only be opened by us Critians. What do you mean? Don't worry, I'll see that we're allowed to enter. And? What are we supposed to do with that bell? Relax. You humans are always so impatient. Once you have the bell, you must travel to Egathor Forest. The Egathor Forest? Isn't that on Hippionia too? I've heard of it before. Yes, the sacred land of the Critians is located there. So that's where the door to Miorzo is. If you use the bell there, the door shall open. There is, however, a problem. A problem? Yes, Egathor Forest is being devastated by a mysterious group. In addition to their overwhelming numbers, they also carry with them strange Blastia. I cannot fathom their motives, but this is certainly a matter of great concern. So if we go to Miorzo, we have to do something about them? Exactly. We need you to restore peace to our sacred land. Gotcha. So we get that bell, beat the mysterious group senseless, Ring the bell and the door opens. That sound right? Indeed. I understand. Thank you. May the road rise up to meet you, sister. And you as well. Let's go back to where everyone's waiting. Yeah. Hey, uh, das mache ich aber glaube ich beim nächsten Mal. Ähm, uh, okay, ich muss meine Gruppe eh noch mal neu aufstellen, wenn ich wieder mit allen vereinigt bin. Ja, siehste, äh, heute nicht ganz so lange. Ich hoffe, ihr seht es mir nach. Ähm, hab halt nicht immer mega viel Zeit. Und ich meine, dank meines neuen Formats kann ich wirklich stetig Content liefern, wenn auch nur einmal die Woche ein neuer Part hochkommt. Aber trotzdem, das ist besser stetig als ewig Pause und dann ganz viel auf einmal, finde ich. Ja, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr schaltet nächste Woche wieder ein, wenn wir dem Geheimnis auf den Grund gehen. Und bis dahin wünsche ich euch alles Gute. Wir sehen uns. Macht's gut, euer Tempelmaster. Tschüss.